Hi guys, today we are going through hanging exercises, variations and progressions. After training so many people over the years, we realized there's not enough videos out there for the different variations that you can do as you're progressing. So we decided to make them for you and we hope you find them useful. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is figure out how to set up best for you. As a beginner, you want to keep the rings relatively low so that you could touch the ground, or if you are higher up with the rings or the bar that you're using, you want a step so that you can stand up and get higher to the rings without having to actually let go of your complete body weight. So the first thing you want to think about, whether you're using a bar or rings, is your grip and you want your fingers and your thumb to come all the way around the ring or the bar. The reason for this is because if we have our thumbs on top, we're not engaging all the muscles in our hands or our forearms and it is much easier to slip as well as just not making the same kind of gains for your grip. If you are completely gripped around, over time you will get much stronger forearms, hands and grip strength and this will have a carryover effect into other areas. So just as a note, a dead hang is the same as a passive hang, so that means the same thing. As a beginner, you might find that this is very painful on your hands and very difficult to actually hang. This is normal because if you haven't done this for many, many years, then you would have lost this ability. But don't worry because you will gain it back. This is something that all humans are capable of. So to begin with, a good place to start would be trying for something like five to 10 seconds at a time and seeing how you do with that. But also bear in mind, you don't have to take all your body weight off. So you can simply have your knees underneath your hips so your hips are neutral and your feet on the ground or you can have your legs in front of you like a chair so you can actually keep a lot of your weight off of these rings um, alternatively if you like this is okay you can have your knees underneath you and tuck the feet up towards your glutes the hamstrings might engage a little bit but you will be in a full dead hang um, the best way, however, to dead hang would be to have your body completely elongated. We obviously can't bring our rings that much higher, so we have to show you in this variation. But when you are fully dead hanging, you want your body just to be relaxed completely. You want your shoulders and scapula to be coming up towards your ears in a relaxed manner. And what you're focusing on is just your hands and your grip. That's the only thing. That and breathing, of course, you don't want to stop breathing while you are hanging. Next thing you want to learn is the active hang. So once you can dead hang, you can move on to this. <laughs> so if you do scapular pull-ups, then you'll be familiar with this motion. You're going to retract and depress your scapula in order to do the active hang. So from the dead hang, and it is simply an isometric hold. An active hang can also be called a hollow hang, but what we're gonna do now is show you a hollow hang. Uh, Calum's gonna show you a different way because the rings are not high enough to do it. Okay, so the hollow hang is exactly the same as an active hang, but now we're bringing our body into the rest of our body. So we're thinking about how we're gonna engage our um, core muscles, uh, create a posterior tilt, in our pelvis and basically hollow the body out. If you're familiar with hollows, you've probably done hollow holds on the floor. Um, it's a po popular gymnastic um, exercise to learn because it has a good transfer over to other exercises such as muscle ups, um, ring dips, things like that. So to do it, what you wanna do is you wanna jump up onto your bar, onto your rings, whatever it is. You wanna be in a full hang and you wanna um, retract and depress your scapula. So we're in that active position, okay? Then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw my belly button in towards my spine, okay? Create that posterior um, tilt in the pelvis. My feet are just slightly out in front of me. So you can just see here that I'm just hollowing my body out. This is a hollow position versus not hollowing, which would be relaxed. You can see all I'm doing is pulling this in here. So another thing I get asked all the time is should I be wearing any gloves to help with grip? And I would personally say no, I have actually seen them slip off people in the past. And what you actually do want to create is calluses on your hands over time so that you don't have as much pain. Um, 
One thing to invest in is a chalk ball or just some chalk. Some people use liquid chalk. Um, the key here is you are going to get slippery hands and sweaty as you train. And this is going to help so that you don't end up having to um, have any risk of slipping off from sweat. Um, so this is especially important when you start learning single arm hangs because then you're really requiring a lot of grip. So to begin with, when you are first learning to single arm hang, there's a simple thing that you can do, which is simply bringing your body weight to one hand without actually taking off the other hand at all. So you still have that security. Obviously I can take it off if I want, but I'm not actually taking it off here. So you're taking so much weight of your body that pretty much you could take the other hand off, but first let's just learn it with a little bit of safety. Another way to transition into this is simply by having your feet still on the floor. So when you're down here, transitioning onto this side and then simply engaging the muscles, retracting your scapula back and down if you can, squeezing your hand as hard as you can, but still having some of your weight on your feet. And you can work your way up this way. Another thing to note is that these hangs, single arm hangs, can be passive or active and the first thing that you're going to want to try to learn is the passive versions. So when you are finally ready and you've progressed with the other types of hangs, you can simply start taking some weight off with the fingers and then when you are ready to, shift your weight over, take your arm down, bring it back up. Shift your wave over, bring the arm down. And you want to do this nice and slowly to begin with. So Hallie just demonstrated the passive single arm hang. I'm gonna show the active single arm hang, which is exactly the same, but we're just pulling the scapula blades down and back. Okay, so the only difference here is, again, scapula blades down and back, and you're just gonna hold an active position. Thanks for watching guys. If you found that useful, head over to our website and check out our freebies page, jam packed with lots of free information that you can get. And also check out the programs page where we put together gradual programs over a 12 week period for you to adjust and gain strength.